Over the years, Gans has made thousands of plush toys. Whether they're Webkins or not, not every animal is perfect. As many of you know, I have an infatuation with thrifting, especially Error Webkins. I even have my own little collection, but that's aside the point. I've always been interested in manufacturer errors and love spotting the differences, so today, we're going to be discussing 20 of the weirdest Webkins plush errors. Oh, just a side note before we start, I wanted to clarify what I mean by manufacturer error or factory error. In this video, I'm going to define it as a misprint or mistake in the manufacturing process in which the plush varies from what it's supposed to look like. I will not be including errors such as cut off tish tags or anything that can easily be done by the consumer. This is a list only including factory errors. And lastly, this list is in no particular order. Let's get started. Welcome everyone to the 20 weirdest Webkin splash errors. To begin, I figured I'd list one that everyone knows, more than one Magic W. All Webkins have one Magic W, but if you're lucky, you may find ones that have multiple. The pets can range from average pigs to signature huskies, and even some of the newer pets have multiple Magic Ws as well. Although this is a common factory error, it's valued by collectors across the community. Although it's weird to see a Webkins with two or even three Magic Ws, it's even stranger to see Webkins with an upside down one. This factory error is even more uncommon and the Magic W is completely overturned. Number three is the uncut tush tag. Typically, the manufacturer will cut off the excess tag on the black line, shown here. Although it's hard to notice, some Webkins don't have their tush tags cut to the appropriate length. When printing the tag, there is a line meant to be cut upon by the manufacturers, and if it isn't, the plush is distributed out with an uncut tish tag. It's a minor error, but it's still interesting how different it looks from the normal tish tag. Magic W's aren't the only thing that appears upside down on this list. Several webkins have been accidentally manufactured with upside down ears or even feet. Although it's one of the most common errors in this video, faulty feet earned a spot on this list. Sometimes webkins are manufactured with feet oriented the incorrect way. Sometimes it can cause webkins to have a difficult time standing, or they might just look a little bit awkward. This has been happening with webkins since 2005, and misoriented feet still occur today. It's just another error in manufacturing, but it has to be one of the most annoying when you're trying to take pictures. Another odd tush tag error on this list is one I found in 2019 while thrifting. Most GANS tags typically look the same, but on one of my music and dance pups, the GANS tag has an odd blank line running through it. I have no idea how this happened, but it's a weird defect for sure. It might not be obvious at first, but when compared to other normal GANS tags, it's extremely noticeable. Another interesting tush tag was found in my Strawberry Cloud Leopard. After buying one online and went at Goodwill, I quickly realized that one of their tush tags was upside down. After comparing it to eBay listings, Rose's tush tag is upside down, while Tulip's is normal. As many of you know, I get most of my Webkins by thrifting at Goodwill and other stores. Because of this, I find random plush errors, one of which is my pig's missing eyebrows. This error might be up for debate as someone could have taken the eyebrows off, but there is no sign of this and I don't know why someone would take the time to intentionally take eyebrows off a stuffed pig. Although some might say that it's not an error Webkins, brows is still a very unique pig. Perhaps the most common error on this list is the absence of Magic Ws. These pets are believed to be first edition, as most of them are older pets from 2005 or 2006. However, some of the newer pets have been found to be lacking Magic Ws too, such as the Butterscotch Bunny in Chameleonkin's unboxing video. Although this might not be a plush error, it's still a Webkins product. It's my video anyway, so I make the rules. For a short period of time, Gans introduced Webkins figurines, and with new products come new errors. This Webkins figurine is the Hoop Dream Seal, but possesses a misprinted box that claims the opposite, saying it's the Swashbuckling Schnauzer. Years ago while shopping in a gift shop, I found a one-of-a-kind Carrots Bunny. For some reason, the bunny was manufactured with its magic W on the wrong foot. I haven't seen another pet with an error like this to this day, and I still regret not getting it. 
Another Magic W error was brought to my attention by Newtonkins, and it's not all that noticeable like the other ones on this list. Whether a plush has multiple Magic Ws or just one, they all generally look the same. However, if you look closely at the left side of this texting puppy's Magic W, you can see that the yellow part of it is completely filled in with pink. Typically, a Magic W would look like what is shown on the left, but Noon's is one of a kind. Whether it's a shimmer bunny or purple goldfish, Webkin's tush tags are usually used to identify what pet they are. But if you're lucky, you'll find a Webkin's whose tush tags aren't right at all. Shown here is Lunarkin's Grey Wolf, which actually is the tag of a shimmer bunny. This wasn't a one-time mistake either, as I have a chickadee with the tush tag of a goldfish. A handful of Kinstagrammers have Webkin's like these, and they're not easy to find. You can also see the comparison of my two caramel lions, or should I say, monkey and caramel lion. The final and most interesting tush tag error on this list is the flip tush tags. My turtle is one of a kind, and the gans tag and turtle tag are completely flipped. Instead of the gans tag on top, it's on the bottom. If you can't see the difference, a comparison between my normal turtle on the left and my error turtle on the right might help. You can see the tush tags are flipped. This is undoubtedly my favorite Webkin's tush tag error. When I bought this little kin's hippo, I didn't know it would be one of the weirdest errors I've ever seen. Upon looking at its magic debut when I returned home, I noticed that its foot was not the same shape as all of the others. I compared it to my other Lilkins hippo and it did not look similar at all. If you look closely, it actually closely resembles the Lilkins pig's foot, but it's orientated in an odd way. So does that make it a double error? It's hard to say, but I never thought my 500th Webkins would have such a strange error. This love monkey has a little trouble walking, don't you think? In addition to having two magic Ws, it also has two right feet, an obvious error as a result of the mistaken additional magic W. I guess this really is a double error. At first, when I saw my new King Charles, I knew there was something off about this pet. As I looked closer, I could see it had two different eyes. Gans has made pets with two different colored eyes before, like the Lilkins Alley Cat. But King Charles were supposed to have two brown eyes, not one green and one brown. It's possible that the original owner could have switched the eyes, but the patchwork was so well done it seemed unlikely. On top of that, the eyes are quite similar in shape, so it could be possible the manufacturer accidentally put a discolored or random eye in my pet. Either way, it was an interesting find for sure. You guys remember the little Kins Alley Cat I was talking about? Well, I found an error in this plush too. Typically, an alley cat has one blue eye and one green eye, as shown on the left, but is the total opposite. My alley cat on the right has two blue eyes instead. Although the error is hardly noticeable, it is certainly a rare find. And by far the strangest error I found to date, multiple body parts. I just recently bought Puffrykins' alley cat with two tails, which is one thing, but Webkin's girl's chicken with four legs is just crazy. McNuclear Nugget is certainly an odd chicken. Both of these errors are some of the weirdest I've ever seen, and I can't help but wonder how they happened. And last but not least, above all Webkin's errors that you and I have ever seen, the number one Webkin's error in the entire community, the error message. Well, there they are. I really enjoy making videos like these, and if you'd be interested in a part 2 someday, I'd be happy to make one if I find more errors. If you have any obscure plush errors that you'd like to share, I'd love to hear them in the comments. And you can always send me a picture on Twitter or Instagram. An extra special thank you goes out to the people who took these photos, and those from Instagram who sent in errors or pictures for the video. Even if they weren't featured, I appreciate all the ones I was sent. Thank you all so much for watching. Look at that, another upload. To be honest, I scripted this back in August and here we are almost seven months later. It takes me a while to make these videos, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you're from the future, you're probably looking back at the coronavirus like it was nothing, but currently our society is about to use toilet paper as currency, so that's fun. My channel's kind of dead. I don't know when uploads will return, but we can cross our fingers, right? Okay, bye.